Hey guys, so sorry to get your hopes up, but no, I didn't get a new camera. Since Lindsay's been home, I've been like using hers, and I was planning on using hers today to film this, but then I couldn't find her memory card, and it was just like a huge process, and she's sick, and I didn't want to ask, and it was just, you know, it was a whole big story. So here I am with my old camera. But yes, I am saving up for a new camera, okay, because I know you guys love that whole HD crap. You know, I do have HD on here too, but it's not just like that great of quality and resolution, you know, so just wait on that one. But today, I'm gonna be showing you my top 13 products of 2013. And I have never done this video before, you know, for past years, top 12 of 2012, whatever. I was planning on doing it last year and then I actually just forgot. Instead, I'm doing it this year for you. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna be showing you what's in my little sunflower jar here of all of my 2013 memories and we can open them up together because I haven't read a lot of the ones in here in a very long time. And for almost all of these products, you're gonna be like, Megan, I knew it. I knew you were gonna put that in there. And so none of these are gonna be in order. I'm just gonna kind of, you know, wing them, you know, go off the bat here. So let's go ahead and get into the products. So product number one would be my Hula bronzer from Benefit. I got this in 2013 and it has been my holy grail bronzer ever since then. This is just like the best bronzer ever. So if you're looking for a kind of high-end bronzer to invest in, I would definitely choose this one because it's just all around fabulous. Product number two is of course my simple makeup remover wipes. I used to use the Neutrogena ones and now I'm like hooked on these and I'm pretty sure that they're cheaper and they're better for your skin. Nothing against Neutrogena. I actually love Neutrogena. But these are just amazing makeup wipes and they're good for your skin and just why would you not want them, you know? Product number three is definitely my Naked 2 palette. For all of my eyeshadow looks in the year of 2013, I'd probably say over 80% of them were done with this palette. It's just such a beautiful neutral palette. I actually like this one better than the Naked one. I don't have the Naked one, but when I use the Naked one, I'm like, oh my god, I know why I use Naked 2 now. Because like these ones are just a little bit lighter in coloring and I just feel like they suit my face better. But as you can see, this palette has definitely been through a lot this year. You know, blackout is missing now. It just crumbled. It just fell right out. Ugh, I just love this thing so gosh dang much. And so if you're trying to choose between the Naked one, two, or three, go with the two. I definitely say the middle way is always the best one, you know. Product number four, I'm just gonna go into kind of product four and five because they go together. So product numbers four and five are my hair combination products that I've used throughout this whole entire year. Um, it's the Kinky Moves Curl Cream from Not Your Mother's and then the Beach Babe Texturizing Spray from Not Your Mother's and these are, oh my gosh, how could I even describe how well these work? Get them both and use them all the time together because trust me, it works well for my hair. My hair is literally a hundred pounds. Like it's so heavy and these don't even make them heavier. They still work even with the weight of my hair. I have so much love for these products and I could just, I could literally make out with both of them right now, but I'm going to not do that for the safety of this video and to just kind of keep it a PG rated video here, but I could literally marry them. They do my hair wonders and I need to pick up more of this because it is now gone. And I'm giving away both of these in my holiday giveaway. So if you want to win these for yourself, you can go enter the giveaway. I'm just so happy to have found two products that make my natural hair look actually nice and not like a mop. Product number six, big surprise here. It's my Great Lash Lots of Lashes mascara. I did so many tutorials and getting ready with me videos with this this year. You guys know how much I love this. It's been featured in multiple favorites videos. And so it is definitely not a surprise that it is with me now. I'm wearing it on my lashes now. And it is just like, I, I don't, I, I don't understand how a mascara can be this good. Like, I don't get you. I don't. So I recommend this to everybody if you are looking for a nice mascara to get. Product number seven is just nude eyeliner in general, but I have found this holy grail one like Oh, and this is the NYX Wonder Pencil. I haven't talked about this yet, but I'm planning on talking about it in my next favorites video, but here it is for you. I started using nude eyeliner this year, and then this one is the only one that I found that has been like amazing. And if you like nude liners, you should definitely get this one. And I got this one at Ulta, and it's just, it's just great. Number eight is my Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. I'd open this to show it to you, but when I was taking it over here to film with, it dropped on the floor and shattered everywhere. And I'm so mad about this because I hadn't even hit pan on this one yet. It was like a new one I had just gotten and now it is cracked into a million and five pieces and I am pissed about it. But you guys know how much I love this. I use this to set my foundation every single time. I do my foundation, I bring this with me to school, I bring this with me out. If I ever need to, you know, touch up on some shininess, this is always there to help. And it does actually control your shine. It doesn't lie to you like some other products do, and that's why I love this. Number nine is my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 
three-in-one foundation. Just looks like this, has a little blue pumpy poo at the top here, um, and I'm in ivory, and you guys know that I use this all the time. I've tried out different foundations throughout the year of 2013, but this one has been the one that has always just been there for me. You've always been there from the start. You were always the one. It covers up all of my acne scarring, any like mishaps I'm having on my face at the moment, it will cover it up. It just looks great on any kind of skin tone. I use this with my fingers. It just looks so nice. You don't even need a brush. You don't need any kind of, you know, applicating tools or anything. It is literally the god of all foundations. Like, you never have to go and buy a high-end foundation. You can just get this one. Number 10 is another face product, and this is the Clean and Clear Advantage Oil Absorbing Treatment. I use this every morning right after I wash my face, and it's just so amazing. Like, it's just a little low and so you put it on like you would any other lotion, but then it's just like and it just absorbs all the oil in your face and you're just like, how did you do that? And it just replies back and it's like, I don't know. I don't know how I did it, but I rock. And then you're just like, thank you. But really bad news, they don't sell these anymore. Clean and Clear actually told me that they're stopping selling them. I don't know why. I don't know why they're doing this to us but we can get through it. I'm sure we're gonna find some other product that is going to be just as amazing as you, but I've stocked up on about, I think, four more of these bottles, and so I have four more until I'm actually out of it completely. Number 11 is my Boing Concealer. This is my crap right here. Um, I'm in shade 01. As you can see, I've hit pan on this way too many times to count. I think this is my third or fourth one of these this year, but um, it's like industrial strength concealer, and so it can cover up literally anything that you have. It could probably cover up a tattoo. I once covered up a friend's hickey with this. I did. And so, you know, if you're ever in, in that kind of a situation, I've never been in one, but, you know, I can see why it would happen to some people who come into physical contact with boys. Um, if you ever have a problem, you know, that kind of an issue, you can cover it up with some boing. If you have a tattoo that you regret you can cover it up with some boing. If you have a zit that you don't want your boyfriend to see, you can cover it up with some boing. If you got attacked by a dog and you have a little mark on your face, cover it up with some boing. You know, it's just great. It's overall just a great concealer that works wonders for you and it's definitely something to invest in. Number 12 is my Gimme Brow from Benefit and it is just a tinted brow gel and I use this in my past tutorial. It has a little baby brush like this because I think this is like the travel size version, but I'm in the color light brown I think but this just does so much like it fills them in it holds them down and it just keeps them in place all day and you never have to use anything on your eyebrows ever again because this just does everything for you it's like three steps all in one basically okay and then the last one product number 13 here is my I think it's called bad gal liner but it's from benefit but I just don't know the name because it is now down to this little nub and all I can read on it is roof. I, I think it used to say waterproof, um, but all it says is roof now and then says benefit down at the bottom. This is the best black liner I have ever used in my whole entire life. I line my tight line every single time I do my makeup with this stuff and it never comes off. It just stays on all day. It's waterproof so it stays on all the time and it's not gonna like fall off of your face and like melt down gradually throughout the day. If I were to recommend one black liner for you to use for the rest of your life, it would be this one because it just stays on your face all day long and why would you ever need your makeup to come off throughout the day? You wouldn't, you know? So you just need this one to just stay on and just be amazing throughout the whole entire day and that's what it does and that's what it's going to do for you, I promise. So yeah, you probably were not too surprised about any of those products throughout the video, you know, me showing you all these things. They're now sitting in my laundry over here, that's why I'm motioning towards them. But a couple of those have been with me throughout the start of 2013, and some of them, you know, weren't and came in towards the end of the year, some of them, you know, mid-year. But the only thing that matters is that they stayed with me all throughout 2013, and I love them for that, and I will continue using these in 2014 and for also many years to come. But now, we are getting to the fun part of this video. I am so excited to open these with you, you don't even know. If you're wondering where I got this little cute sunflower jar, I got this on the Benebrow tour, so shout out to you if you gave me this jar because I started putting my 2013 memories in here. You can't see my other jar back here, but I used to have this glass one that said 2013 on it, and that's where I was putting them in. And then when this lovely lady gave me this on the Benebrow tour, I was like, hey, I can start using it for this. And so now we're going to open this 
and um, this is all of my memories in here and we're gonna start opening them. <laughs> the first one, it would be this one, meeting Modson slash the whole concert. Like not meeting the whole concert, but the whole concert in general is a 2013 memory. And so that was back in March and I met him for the first time in March and it was just all around amazing. I have a video meeting him, I have multiple videos on him, you guys know I love him. Oh, this one says gaining two new best friends. So this year I became super close with my friend Aaron and my friend Gina and I basically just gained two new best friends and I'm so glad to call them best friends now. And I just think it's awesome that I can still like gain people to call best friends, you know, throughout the years. So it gives me hope that I am still gaining best friends to this day. The next one is VidCon. I went to VidCon this year. I met a lot of you there, so that was super fun. The next one is Charleston birthday trip because I went to to Charleston for my 16th birthday and that was super duper fun with my whole family minus Colin. <laughs> The next one says buying my own MacBook. That was a very big accomplishment of mine. <laughs> and you guys know that Cassandra is now my baby. Oh my god, speaking of Cassandra, look what Nevin got me for Christmas, hold on. So you guys know that I deck her out in stickers, but if you see the new additions here, Nevin gave me this OF sticker, like the Odd Future symbol, and you guys know I love Odd Future, and so the fact that she gave me that for Christmas was like the best thing in the whole entire world. And so yeah, this is Cassandra. I bought her this year and she is my baby. This next one says, saw and met Skizzy Mars. And I went to the g -Eazy concert and Skizzy Mars was there, and so I saw him and I met him as well. The next one says, seeing Jaden, Leah, and Melly. And so I saw my second family, basically. They're the Schwartzes and they live in California, and so when I went to California this year, I got to see them twice, actually. And I think I put that on, like, more than one post-it note in here, but who knows. Oh, this one says, hitting 50,000 subscribers on January 31st. I'm really glad that I did this, like putting all of my accomplishments in here. Modson followed me on Twitter on March 10th. Some of these are like really stupid, like me putting in here that Modson followed me on things now that we're like actually like friends. I think it's weird that I put that in here, but you know, it's an accomplishment, so I don't regret it. <laughs> I saw Cisco Adler and Teo Bali, and that was also at the Modson concert. A lot of these are also going to be concerts, so just fair warning there. This one says 150,000 subscribers. This one just says G-Eazy, um, so I guess that means the whole entire G-Eazy experience, you know, meeting him, meeting Skizzy Mars, meeting his girlfriend, and everything of the sort. This one says Kesha and Pitbull. I went to a Kesha concert, and I thought that Pitbull was her opening act, but it was really Kesha as Pitbull's opening act. So that was odd to go to, but it turned out being very, very fun, so I'm glad that we did that. This one says Party in the Park, and so Lindsay and I got to see Ellie Golding, Passion Pit, and Group Love at Party in the Park and that was back in May. Also this year I got inducted into thespian society and so now I just call myself like an actual thespian and like I'm part of a troupe. I'm a theater geek basically. This one says Porter Robinson. I got to go see Porter Robinson in concert and that was just awesome. I also talked about that in a favorites video. This one says 100,000 subs on the day that Lindsay hit 100,000 subs. I hit 100,000 subscribers on the exact same day that my sister hit 100,000 subscribers. So I just thought that was so incredibly cool. This one says Tribe and Cherub for the second time. Okay, so I actually haven't talked about this yet because this is the past concert that I went to over this break. I'm gonna be talking about this in my favorites video, but I saw STS9 or Tribe, um, Sound Tribe Sector 9, and then their opening act was Cherub, who I've already seen before. So it was cool to see Cherub for a second time and then Tribe for the first time. And so that was a good memory of 2013. The next is went to Red Rocks. It's actually been one of my dreams to go to Red Rocks. So that was just amazing and I saw a show there and it was like a bluegrass show and it was just awesome. The next says finding the secret and so yes this year I found the secret and the secret is basically just like the law of attraction and everything like that. My whole entire positivity video is on that but basically this year I found the secret and I think that's why my 2013 was so amazing because I found the secret and all these amazing things happened to me and 2013 was honestly just like the best year ever. It was so great. The next one is the Benabrow tour so I got the chance to go to National Charleston and Philadelphia. I got to go to places I've never been before and see places I've never seen before and meet hundreds of you which is just so amazing to me and so having that experience was so incredibly great. The next is saw the Schwartzes twice so I like I said I thought that I put that on there more than once yeah so I got to see the Schwartzes two times when I was in LA both times and I'm planning on seeing them when I go to LA in January for LA IMATS. I will be at LA IMATS just saying so if you're planning on going to LA IMATS so am I.
The next is I'm at LA and NYC. I got to go to LA for the first time back in January and I fell in love with it. So that was definitely a very good memory of 2013. And then I also got to go to IMATS in New York in April and that was awesome too. The next says finding a new hobby. And so my new hobby, if you're wondering, is hooping, like hula hooping. I'm not just a crazy person, not just like hula hooping it up, you know? It's like actual hooping, like doing tricks with it and stuff. And so I only have have a crappy poopy hula hoop right now but I'm saving up for like an actual hula hoop ones that you can do tricks with and stuff so me and Gina are going to start our new hobby together and it's gonna be really fun but at least in 2013 I found a new hobby okay the next says going to LA for the first time I'm sorry that I'm repeating a lot of these for you but I just like forget and then I put them in at separate occasions the next is flux so I got to see flux pavilion for the third time I saw him my first freshman year and then I saw him at Magnetic Music Festival, th Festival this year and then I saw him again alone in October. Oh, and then the next, the next is Mumford. I got to see Mumford and Sons this year, which has actually been a dream of mine for so long because they hadn't been touring in the U.S. for such an amazingly long time. And then I finally got to go, and me and Gina went to that together, and that was just like a fun thing to do with my best friend. The next one says Cali for eight days. Over the summer, I got to go visit Lindsay in California for eight days days and that was just awesome and I got to go to VidCon during that time and so yeah that kind of like correlates in with VidCon but still. The next says meeting Modson round two and talking to him on a friend basis. <laughs> I'm so stupid like this is like embarrassing I hope he doesn't watch this but yeah I got to go to a Modson concert again and meet him again and that was just fun to be able to talk to him on like a friend basis and actually have a conversation with him for the second time meeting him and so yeah. The next says 50k on Insta. <laughs> And you know what's cool about hitting 50k on Insta in 2013? On the first day of 2014, I hit 100k on Insta, and so that was just amazing. Like, I started off 2014 on a very good note, hitting 100,000 on Instagram, so thank you guys very, very much for that. I was so happy. The next is seeing Chance the Rapper twice. I saw him in July with Mac Miller with my friend Nevin, and then in LA, I went back with Lindsay and saw the same concert again, so basically I saw him twice twice. The next says Disneyland. I went to Disneyland this year. That was when I went to LA for the first time back in January. And I'd never been to Disneyland before, so that was really, really fun. The next says, made it to the top of Hoosier Pass, 12,300 feet. So when I went to Colorado with my family this year, I got to go to the top of Hoosier Pass, and that was awesome. And I hiked up to 12,300 feet. The next says MMF, or Magnetic Music Festival, and that was a good concert to go to this year. And then the last memory of 2013, says three productions in 2013 into the woods check please and competition piece so I was in three theater productions in 2013 that were all really really fun oh that was fun to go through with you guys I hope you guys liked hearing about my 2013 memories and seeing my top 13 products of 2013 over here and just all around I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one bye Tell me that you'll be my girl